Queen and other members of the royal family attended the Christmas Day service at Sandringham. The traumatic events of recent years have led to difficult Christmas days for the royal family before, but for Prince William and Prince Harry, this must surely have been the hardest. Although their mother had shunned Christmas at Sandringham in her last years, they would normally have had their own celebration with her before joining the rest of the family. And today, they must have felt her loss more than ever. It was fitting that the Queen began her broadcast with images from Diana's funeral, an event she described as almost unbearably sad. But she reflected on how the year had also produced contrasting moments of joy, such as her own golden wedding. This interweaving of joy and woe has been very much brought home to me and my family during the last months. We all felt the shock and sorrow of Diana's death. Thousands upon thousands of you expressed your grief most poignantly in the wonderful flowers and messages left in tribute to her. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was a great comfort to all those close to her. Thank you so much. Thank you. Specially shot pictures show how, two months later, the princes had found the strength to laugh again when they returned to Westminster Abbey for their grandparents' wedding anniversary, a day the Queen says was a tremendously happy one. There's also a rare look behind the scenes at the Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting in Edinburgh. It was very nice having everybody here last night. Well, uh, uh, we enjoyed it uh, very much. Such meetings, says the Queen, show that unity and diversity can go hand in hand. And she follows that with a direct comment on devolution. Recent developments at home, which have allowed Scotland and Wales greater say in the way they are governed, should be seen in that light and as proof that the Kingdom can still enjoy all the benefits of remaining united. Being united, that is feeling a unity of purpose, is the glue that bonds together the members of a family, a country, a commonwealth. And today at Sandringham, the royal family were united in their determination to make the day as happy as possible, in spite of the short passage of time since the princess's death. The Queen's final thoughts in her broadcast were that the world needs kindness now more than ever. There was kindness in abundance among the crowds and appreciation that the monarchy is endeavouring to show a more human face after the tragedy of Diana's death. Jenny Bond, BBC News. Engineers are still trying to restore power to thousands of homes after overnight storms battered many areas of the country. Power supplies were cut as winds of up to 90 miles an hour caused havoc in North Wales and Cheshire, as well as parts of Northern Ireland, the northwest of England and southwest Scotland. Winds gusting up to hurricane force battered many parts of the country last night and throughout the day. Among the worst hit was this holiday village at Prestatyn on the North Wales coast. The chalet roofs were torn off, leaving engineers the task of picking their way through a pile of debris. The storms blocked hundreds of roads with fallen trees. The most severe damage was caused in northwest England and Wales. It's been a very, very busy time for all the emergency services. Uh, there's been widespread damage caused, obviously, by the weather, structural damage to buildings. Um, and this weather front is going to continue today. And we would certainly urge that people, if they were travelling anywhere today, that they would adjust the travelling times and travel at an earlier time and only travel if absolutely necessary. The winds and heavy rain brought down power lines. An estimated 50,000 homes were without electricity at one stage. Additional repair teams are working through Christmas to try to restore power by the end of the day. One family in Carnarfonshire was forced to improvise to make sure the traditional Christmas Day lunch was served on time, the gas oven in the caravan providing the vital alternative. For the children, though, it just wasn't the same without the use of those electronic toys. They can't play the music they've had and the computer games and things. I think it's simpler, it's quite nice. There's not much noise around. <laughs> yes, we're coping, OK. So there are some benefits in this? Yes, I think so, yes. For us, anyway, maybe not for the children. <laughs> On Merseyside, there were scores of road accidents caused by fallen trees, and the police say the efforts to clear up the devastation may take several days. In one incident, a 32-year-old woman was killed when a tree crushed the car she'd been driving. The weather forecasters say the worst is probably over, but strong winds and heavy rain are expected in many places over the next 24 hours. Paul Newman, 
BBC News. Search for fire.